Hey guys, it's Troy and I've got another pen mail video for you today. Uh, I'm sitting here in my home and we are expecting uh, Hurricane Florence sometime really, really soon. So, I just wanted to get in a video before I forget about it or don't have the ability to do one for a while. Uh, and uh, I haven't been getting a whole lot of pens here recently because I've had some things I've been concentrating on. But I have been chasing some, uh, some pens that are uh, on my grail list. I've been going after those, and, and I have not been successful at getting some of those. I did snag one that was on my wish list. I can't show it to you because it's still on the way to be delivered, hopefully within the next several days. Weather permitting, by the way. So, um, wanted to follow up first. I, I shared with you the Scripto pen uh, that I had uh, gotten. Uh, and it is the one that has the Frieden calculators personalization on it um, and it was one of those that I got from Spear Bob and somebody had asked me to let you guys know how they write so I've got I got two pens that day uh, in that video that I shared and one of which uh, I inked up which is this one just because I could yesterday and uh, the other one I have not yet inked up so I figured I'll go ahead and share with you a little bit about how that wrote so just as a follow-up so you know a nice scripto semi hooded nib um, and uh, this one actually does well. I was surprised. It's got a very fine nib. I, I won't say extra fine, but it's got a, definitely a fine nib on it. But this is the Scripto lever filler. And uh, it actually writes very smoothly. I, I was surprised. Um, I generally don't like fine nibs. This one did very well for a fine nib. So um, what I did was I put in some Pelican, Pelican, let me try that again, Pelican, I'm writing horribly today, Edelstein, uh, this is a Smoky Quartz. I'm not usually much on brown inks, and it really depends on what um, pen this ink is in. Some pens it looks great, other pens it looks horrible. This one doesn't look like diarrhea as much. Um, it comes out very dark and I like it in this one. So anyway, this is the uh, the Scripto lever filler. It's got a really hard pull to it because you can see it's got this ring here to help seal it for the cap. And it's a hard push and a hard pull, but it is a slip cap. And so just following up on that. So cluing you in on that. Uh, another pen I got, by the way, I, can, I don't know if I can talk about this one too much because this is actually meant for somebody else. Um, but you notice it's got like a, a lavender uh, pebble or uh, you know, kind of a rose color. Very long, very slender. Um, this particular pen is a Waterman. And you can probably see right there the W, the Waterman W on it. Um, and uh, I would place this one either in the 1970s or into the 80s because of the, the style of the W. And 1970s is when a lot of slim pens were really in vogue uh, from different brands, including Waterman. And I've got some nice uh, slender Waterman pens uh, here in my drawer. And this particular one is a uh, cartridge converter. And it is a slip cap, nice slender, long uh, section. It needs some cleaning. So uh, I don't have it inked up. It doesn't have an ink cartridge or a converter in it yet, uh, but I need to do some cleaning on this thing in order to, to make it uh, usable. Uh, I'll have to do some cleaning and maybe some polishing on that nib a little bit, but that's something that I picked up here recently, and uh, I have somebody in mind uh, to receive this particular uh, Slender Waterman pen. Uh, speaking of Waterman pens, just arrived today. Uh, which is why I'm doing this video today, because I had pen mail today. Um, I uh, picked up fairly cheaply for like $13 uh, this particular pen. Now, Waterman Crusader. I've got a couple of Crusaders. I've got, um, here is a Waterman Crusader. And uh, this one, it's got that style nib. And I've been doing some work on this one, and I'm going to tear it apart and do some cleanup, so don't pay any attention to that section not being, you know, looking all that great in alignment with that nib. This was actually in my two fix box and I've been doing some work and I gotta try to get the nib out and clean it up in order to get it to write correctly but I got another one just like it in burgundy uh, that's identical to it with the exception of that it's burgundy here and it actually writes fantastically well but this one is the Crusader Tape Write and it is a little bit different 
So, I mean, it's got a few similarities in that it is a lever filler. It's from around the same time. It's got the general same torpedo shape to it. Uh, but you can see that there are some differences. The, uh, the lever box is different, different size. The cap is different. Um, and the length is just a little bit different. Now, let's take a look here at the difference in the nibs. Now, you can see this is what the tape right is like. Now I've got some other pens that are in the tape right family and you can definitely see you've got more of uh, not quite a semi hooded nib style but definitely um, it tapers down and you've got more of a smaller nib here so I've got a couple of pens in my collection from Waterman that are just like this this is what makes it a tape right essentially so it's a different style it's not got more of the traditional style nib it's got more of that very slender tapered nib. So um, this particular pen does not write yet. I just got it today. Like I said, I have not inked it up. It needs a new sack, um, and I'll give it a thorough cleaning and polish it up some. But this just arrived here within, oh, let's say the last hour or so. So I haven't done anything with it yet. It's got um, some personalization that was done to it. So, you know, Senor Peterson had this pen previously. And uh, so I got a new addition to my Waterman family, probably from like the 1940s or so. So there's that, and there's both of those going to go back into my hospital drawer, my two fixed drawer. So I showed you at the beginning of the video a pen that I got from Spear Bob. Here's another one that arrived just today, um, a Schaefer Tuckaway. So I'm not much into pocket pens. I, you know, I've got some Waterman pocket pens, the or the vest pens, and I've got some other pocket pens here in my collection. Not a huge fan of pocket pens um, because they're smaller, and I got decent size hands. Uh, but uh, you know, I decided I wanted to try the Tuckaway because I've seen them and I've read about them, and I see people really pleased with them. So I went ahead and I ordered uh, this from Spear Bob. So you've got the the Schaefer white dot. It's got the short clip. And the whole deal with this is, let's say in, in the military, if you had a breast pocket with a pocket flap, this could still fit into your pocket and hide under that pocket flap, hence the short clip. When I worked for a police department, we had to wear uniforms and we had to have a certain kind of pen. Matter of fact, it had to be a cross pen. Uh, silver or gold tone, depending upon your rank within the department. And uh, those are the only pens that could show on your uniform. As a matter of fact, you were required to have them. And uh, everybody really didn't like using a cross pen all day in, day out. I used mine. But uh, some people just put the cap sticking out of their breast pocket. And tucked inside was a small ballpoint. And they would uh, pull out that pen like a Bic. And they would use those instead. Well, this is the same concept with the idea that you could hide it in your pocket uh, and that small clip would allow it to sit inside uh, with that flap over um, your, your uh, breast pocket and it would go unseen. Now, the, the tuck away opens pretty easily. It could, has about a half a turn or so and you've got it completely uh, unscrewed from the cap. Let's set the cap down. And you've got a nice little ink window here and a conical style nib, which I usually like fairly well uh, with Schaefer. I mean, Schaefer um, antique pens or vintage pens with conical nibs usually write very, very nicely. I haven't dug into this pen and looked at it much other than I went ahead and inked it up and started playing with it because it's my new, my new toy. Um, what, how you fill it, though, is kind of interesting. It's got the blind cap on the end. You may be able to see that seam right here. So you unscrew this and it pokes out a little bit and then you can pull it out and there's a, a metal rod that sticks out about that far. I'm not gonna do it because I've already inked it up and I don't wanna get ink everywhere. Uh, but you pull it out and you've got a, a metal rod. I wish I had taken some pictures of it when I had it. Um, but then again, I didn't figure I was gonna do a video today. Uh, and then what you do is you plunge it in, you push it in and uh, that, little, um, uh, that little seal or that gasket or um, piston, if you will, will plunge down and much like um, a Twisby VAC 700 or maybe even um, like some of the uh, Visconti's um, it, for their supposed power filler, um, this will plunge down and it will uh, push air out and then create a vacuum and ink will then rush up into the pen. 
So that's what I did on this, and I inked it up with some Waterman uh, black. So for me, I'm going to have to post this thing in order to be able to use it. It's not so bad once you post it. It's not the longest pen. It's definitely not the shortest pen, and I definitely wouldn't want to write with it without it posted. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do an actual writing sample with it. And uh, this particular pen, I was surprised. The Schaefer. The Tuckaway. You may not be able to tell, but this pen writes very, very smoothly. I was pleasantly with surprise. I really was. It's a Schaefer. It ought to. It's a it's a vintage Schaefer. Now, vintage Schaefer pens tend to be very nice, very smooth, and especially the conical nibs like this. I, every pen that I've got that's got a conical style nib from Schaefer writes very well. It's a little bit stiff. You're not going to get a whole lot of line variation, but you can get some. You can get a little bit of a darker line, but it's not, it's not a flex nib. It's not meant to be, but it is a very smooth writer. I mean, just it just glides across the page. So if you're not pressing down and trying to get line variation, it is almost buttery smooth. So that's the Schaefer Tuckaway. Uh, it wasn't bad. You know, the price was right, so I went ahead and got it. So I can't complain about that whatsoever. I'll probably polish this up a little bit um, and uh, see if you can get any of the imprints, if you can see the imprints that are on that barrel. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get some good shots in for you. But uh, that is my newest edition and my newest writer, my Schaefer Tuckaway. Um, so, a couple of Watermans and uh, finally inked up one of the other pens that I had promised you I would um, so for that Scripto. That's pen mail for today.